This is a photo booth with a rotating platform and it's ideal for showing off smaller sized objects in a cool and intriguing way. For me, it'll most likely be used to showcase 3D prints and electronics projects. But you could use it for almost everything that'll fit inside. I designed the rotating platform to work with the very inexpensive 28BYJ-48 stepper motors. And the design can easily be 3D printed. The only other parts I needed were some standard 8mm ball bearings and a couple of nuts and bolts to complete the assembly. On the top of the rotating platform I made a cross-shaped slot. This makes it possible to have a variety of top plates that can be swapped out with ease. To hold the backdrop in place I designed this simple mount, which again is fully 3D printable. It has a 1mm groove running in a semi-circle, in which a piece of paper or cardboard can be inserted. It's designed to work perfectly with the common A4 sized sheets, but I'm almost certain that it'll work fine with the US letter sizes as well. The base is cut from 15mm plywood. I chose it mostly because it looks nice, but any board could do here as long as it's straight and thick enough to stay that way. I drilled 4mm holes through the base for the components. On the bottom I countersunk the holes with an 8mm drill, so I could use shorter bolts. Not necessary, but a neat little detail. I also added some rubber feet to the base plate, so it'll rest firmly wherever it's placed. Making the interchangeable top plates would have been a breeze if I've had more specialized equipment. They have to be pretty perfect circles, otherwise they'll go against the backdrop or create unwanted gaps. I only have a jigsaw, so I had to find a way to make precision cuts with that. I came up with this simple jig that would sit in a hole in the center and keep the saw at a fixed distance all the way around. And it worked like a charm. I could then mount these 3D printed cross shaped pieces to the bottom of the plates with some double sided tape. The holes made it so easy to put them right in the center. Using some very thin double-sided tape, I then mounted the different surface materials to the top plates. Sadly, I found out that the gold cardboard easily gets scratched, so I had to do that one twice. Putting it all together was fairly easy. Everything pretty much popped right in. The holes in the backdrop mount I had made oversized on purpose. In this way I could easily adjust its position to make it fit perfectly with the rotating platform. And there you have it, a photo booth that can rotate and look good at the same time. Both the top plate and the background are interchangeable. It literally just takes a couple of seconds to swap things out, which makes it so easy and fun to experiment with different looks. I am very satisfied with the results. 
The footage looks awesome and I'm excited to get starting using this. If you want to build this for yourself, you definitely can. I have published all the files for the 3D printed parts and I've also uploaded a blueprint for the base and the rotating plates and some simple code to run the motor with an Arduino. You'll find all the links in the description. And that's all for this video, but I'm not done with this project yet. To film these shots, my setup looked like this. And that's not really as compact and fast set up as I want it to be. So in a future video, I'll be exploring how I can make some custom light sources that are smaller and that hopefully can be integrated in the photo booth. Stay tuned for that and subscribe. See you then. Wow.